Hello everyone, I hope everyone is all right. I decided to create a quick video to show how to use my 2D symmetric um, game assets. So let us crack on. Uh, as you can see, I've got a representation of a tower which is uh, provided from this spreadsheet that you can quickly upload to Unity by uh, right-clicking, import a new asset, and then you go to your folder um, and be able to select the spreadsheet, which in this case is that, that one there. Uh, I will not do that now because obviously I've already done that. Once it's uploaded to uh, Unity, uh, you will have the opportunity to change the sprite mode to multiple so that um, Unity automatically slices up each single one of these game assets for you, uh, as you can see right now. Once that's done, they will be separated into various uh, game assets, as you can see here at the bottom. Uh, you can just quickly click and drag to the scene window. Uh, you won't be able to see it right now because obviously here on the sorting layer, um, is on a default, so if I have, I can just easily use it on a higher sorting layer, or you can, depends, you can also order it in the layer to a number above, I don't know, let me just check, maybe this one is not enough, no, in this case, you will have to be on level two, um, it's because all the uh, other game assets are already on a higher sorting layer or in a um, higher order in the layer. But uh, for now, I'm just going to delete that and show you the representation of this tower uh, build up from these game assets of this sprite sheet, right? Um, I'm going to go down to Castle Towers. As you can see, there's a few. As I come to... Uh, uh, I've been building my castle in such a way that I'm having loads of fun. I hope you have as much fun as I do right now. Um, a quick representation of this tower. Just gonna quickly switch the visibility off of all the others um, and focus in this one. Right? As you can see, uh, this is the external representation of the tower, which I can quickly uh, switch it off and switch the interior uh, design of that tower, re represented by each single one of these game assets. Uh, now, as I switch them on, you come to realize that here on the order layer, the, the numbers will go up. That is because I am building up the tower from the bottom up. And in order for them to be um, built the right way, they have to be adjusted on the layers tag. Because otherwise, uh, say for instance, if I lower that number there, this might happen. Right, so let me just quickly put that back. And that is exactly the same thing for all the other game assets that you have to keep in mind when you build your own castle design, right? So, say for instance, um, there's also a tool that I can also do for big, big, big tower. That is the external representation of it. That's one game asset. But if I want to have a look inside that tower or uh, you know, using the other assets um, provided uh, to quickly have a look inside the tower, as you can see on this spreadsheet, um, you can easily use each and one one of them to build the, the 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 tower, right, and have a internal look. So yeah, the same process. Or so we have to upload it to. Unity change to multiple uh, sprites. Once you press the sprite editor, you'll be able to set it up in such a way that it will automatically slice it up for you 
into individual game assets. And then you can easily create your tower. As you can see, I'm just going to remove those two external walls so you'll be able to see how is the internal uh, view of that tower. Right, that's just for the base. If I want to carry on, use the other assets, you'll see that that's pretty much the view for the main tower. Um, obviously, I've got other game assets represented here. In this case, this was uh, created with intention to uh, create the paths or the walls um, for the castle, right? Same. Just once you upload it to Unity, uh, they've been set up in such a way that they can be used right away, as long as you change the sprite mode to multiple, right? Um, I'm just going to go quickly, change that. Um, as you can see, all of that is being set up in such a way that once I uh, use one game asset, I will match the elements to create the path. And as you can also see on the right hand side, the additional settings remain level one or then layer three. And if for instance they will change because obviously they will come close. Um, as they come close to the viewer, they will end up changing. For example, as you can see here, you change to order layer six. That's not affect the view of, of the other game assets and continue to build up the castle. All right, my friends, that's all. I uh, hope you have loads of fun and enjoy uh, this fantastic process as much as I do. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like. And um, yeah, uh, feel free to have a look around um, and into my Patreon. Maybe you would like to be my patron and um, help me out with my gaming projects and developing um, game assets. Thanks very much. See you soon.